We'll guide you through how to transfer files from an Android to an iPhone. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super useful to go and do if you've got some files here you want on your iPhone. So let's go and get started. To do this, it's probably much easier than you think. We can go and use an app called Google Drive. It will probably be on your device already. If it isn't, you can get it from the Play Store and go and open it up like so. Then just go and note down the Google account you're using as we'll need to use it in a minute on your iPhone. Come to the bottom right and tap files and tap new and you can go and create a new folder. I've just gone and created it here and go and tap on it. Now what you need to do is go to the bottom right and tap on new, tap on upload in the middle. We now we need to go and find the files. So you can go and find them here or you can tap on my files or your files app and go and find them. Mine are in here. Then what you can do is go and select them by tapping them like so. With them selected, press done at the bottom and they should then start uploading. Now come onto your iPhone and what you need to do is go and get the Google Drive app if you haven't already, you can get it from the app store. And what you can do is go and open it up like so. It's super important that you go and use the same Google account, otherwise the files won't be there. So go to the top right if you haven't already and you can go and switch to it or go and add it. But when you first download it, you'll need to sign in anyway. Then go and find the folder we created, which was Android to iPhone and here they are. Click and hold your finger on one of them and you can tap on the select all button if you want in the top right. Then tap the three dots in the top right and you can tap on download like so and they'll then go and be downloaded to your device. As you can see and you can go and tap on save to files and you can choose where you want to go and save them. And you can then find them in the files app wherever you save them. As you can see there they are. 